In this video, we're going to go over the term adjacent angle, and we'll look at a couple of examples. So let's start by defining what an adjacent angle is, um, or what they are, I should say. They are angles that that share. So what they have is they, they share a vertex and a common side but they do not overlap. They do not overlap. Or you could say that they do not, I'll put this in parentheses, they do not share any interior points. So let me explain what I mean there. Let's say I have an angle and then I look at the interior points. Let's go over that. What that means? Well, interior points are just all the points that are between the two rays. All these points in here, and these are the rays here. So let's say this is ray A and and B. So we have this angle right here. It's formed with A and between the rays A and B and with the vertex of C, this is the vertex, these are the interior points. So what we're saying is that you have adjacent angles when they share a common side. So we could have a, another angle share this side and share this vertex C and then go this way. Maybe we call that, I don't know, D. So now we have this angle now, we'll call it angle number two, and that's between D, C, B. And it's adjacent to angle BCA, or let's call that angle number one, because, well, they, it shares this common side, this ray right here, BC. It shares the vertex, and it's right next to it, but it does not cross over the ray. It doesn't share any of the interior points. The interior points of angle two, which I'm going to highlight in green, as you can see, are in a separate, a separate area. If we can keep going, we can have many... Yeah, we can have as many of these as we want, right? I could draw another one right here. Now I've got another angle, and maybe this is point E. So they all they all share this vertex here, but they're and they do not overlap with each other. So angle three is adjacent to angle one, and angle one is adjacent to angle two. But notice that that does not mean that three is adjacent to two, right? They're separate here. So be careful applying that. Um, that property of equality where if this is is adjacent to this angle and this angle is adjacent to two It does not mean they're all adjacent to each other So what else can we look at here? Well? Um, what you might see sometimes and they they set this up I think to perhaps confuse you a little bit if we have some angles here and then let's just label a and B and C well, let's say angle 1 is right here, and angle 2 is like this. Now, it's true that they do share a common side, right? They share this side down here. Both angles contain this side. Angle 1 starts here and then ends at this ray. Oops. And angle 2 also starts down here, but then opens up a little bit further. And they do share a vertex, but they overlap, right? The interior points of angle 1 are also the interior points of angle 2. Even though angle 2 has, has other interior points in other areas, they do share this area in here. So that's not okay. These are not adjacent. And then another thing to think about is what, what are they referring to in a shape when we have adjacent, adjacent angles. So let me just draw some, some polygon here. Now, adjacent angles inside a shape are just angles that share a common side. So let me just redraw that. This is angle 1, angle 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we have lots of adjacent angles here because any angles that share a side are adjacent to each other. So angles 6 and 1 are adjacent because they share this side. Angles 1 and 2 are adjacent because they share this side right here. Angles 2 and 3 are also adjacent because they share this side. Angle 3 and 4 are adjacent because they share this side. Angle 4 and 5 are adjacent because they share this side right here. 
and angle 6 and angle 5 are adjacent because they share this side. And that's, so. I mean, with a polygon like this, if you're talking about adjacent sides, you want to be careful because, or adjacent angles, because there are lots of pairs of adjacent angles here. And perhaps this question will come up uh, with this kind of a setup, where you've got, let's say, this is line A and B, and you know that line A and B are parallel to each other, and they're cut by this transversal, we'll call it T. And then they'll label some key angles and ask, which of these are adjacent angles? Well, again, you're looking for angles that share a vertex. So you have two vert vertices, one here and here, and that share a common side. So angle 1 and angle 3 both share this side right here, and they have the same vertex, so they're adjacent. Angle 4 and angle 2 are adjacent as well. Because here's angle 4 and here's angle 2. They both share this side and they do not overlap. Angle 5 and 6, here's angle 5, here's angle 6, they're adjacent. Angle 7 and 8 are also adjacent. Now there are other equal angles here, but they're, but those are the adjacent pairs. Also you can look at, f so 5 and 8 are adjacent, 6 and 7 are adjacent. Again, same reason, they share common sides. 3 and 2 are adjacent, and 1 and, two are, one and 4 are adjacent. So I'm going to try to circle all the adjacent pairs in blue and orange, even though it's kind of a mess. So that's a basic review of adjacent ankles. Hope it helped.